So, you ready to register your brand name and go legit? Say no more. Now you've been out here hustling, grinding, spreading the word of your new brand and you got a little bit of traction under your name. What's next? Register in that brand name. Now I'm sure you hear people talk about trademarking and LLCs and copyright and corporation. Let me tell you this, right now don't even think about trademarking anything. You're probably thinking to yourself like, I don't want nobody to steal my logo or my idea. Don't trademark anything as of yet. If you're just starting out, I'm telling you, it's probably a waste of time and a waste of money. You haven't even proven to yourself and to your loyal followers that your brand name is worth trademarking and worth growing. This is still the beginning process of just trying to make it. You're trying to see if your idea is really going to work. Just because you sold a few hundred shirts doesn't mean that it's really going to take off like you think. So my advice, don't trademark anything as of yet. And if I were you, if you want to register your brand name, I would start off by filing for a DBA. That's doing business as. Also known as a fictitious business name, but they both are the same exact thing. You'll see it on different documents, FBN or DBA. They're both the same thing. Now, what's a DBA and why do you need it? Filing for a DBA registers your business name in whatever state that you're conducting business in. This is locking down your name. In your state, it's saying Joe Schmo is conducting business under the name of Dope Ass T-Shirts. So now your brand is called Dope Ass T-Shirts and it's registered to you, Joe Schmo. How do you file for the DBA? You can do this one of two ways. You could go down to your local county clerk's office, register it that way, you fill out an application. I think you pay $25 to $35 somewhere in that range, depending on the county or state or wherever you're at. For right here in California, the Los Angeles area, I think it's about $25 maybe 30. What you do is you go down to your local county clerk's office, fill out the application, give them your money. When you submit the application, what they're doing is they're going to check to see if that name is already taken and registered to somebody else in your state. Let's say your brand name is Dope Ass T-Shirts, your name's Joe Schmo. You go and fill out that application. They might contact you within a few days to a week and say, hey, that name's already been taken or hey, this is going to be your new brand name. If that name is already taken, you're gonna have to go back down to the county clerk's office, stand in line again, and then put another name on the application for them to look up. This process could go on forever and ever and ever if your name is really generic, you know, chances are somebody else probably owns dope ass t-shirts, you know what I mean? So when you're thinking of your name, make sure you take that into consideration that somebody might already own that name. Now, everything's going through, you finally got your name, they contact you and say, all right, you need to get this application notarized in order for them to process your new business name. So you get this application, you get it notarized, it gets stamped, it gets signed, and now you have your actual business name. That's not it. After you get that, you have to get your business name published in your local newspaper. It has to be in print by an established newspaper in order for your brand to be officially registered under your name. This also costs some money. Different newspapers vary by different prices on how much they charge for you to just print Joe Schmo doing business as dope ass t-shirts. You have to pay for that. The way I did it, LegalZoom did not pay me, they didn't ask me for, I'm not sponsored by them, I'm not employed by them, but I used LegalZoom. Why? Because that shit was easy. Get on your computer, fill out the application, select the name that you want, and you pay $100. I know you're probably thinking, $100? You just said it costs 25 to 35. But LegalZoom does all the footwork for you. I work a full-time job. I can't be taken off of work to go down to the county clerk's office to stand in this long-ass line just to fill out the application. So LegalZoom made it easy for me. Did everything online, sent it to them, paid $100. They took it to the county clerk's office for me, found out if my name was already registered to somebody else or if it was mine. In my situation, my name was already taken. My first pick was already taken, so I had a backup. Said, all right, check this name. Did it all by email, 
that name wasn't taken. Sent it back, said, all right, fill out this other application, get it notarized, name is yours. Then came the publishing part that I didn't know nothing about. They actually went to the local newspaper and got it published for me, and that's what's covered under that $100. After you get it published, LegalZoom sends you a copy of the newspaper that it was published in, the documentation of it being published, application, your notarized letter, everything you need to say that you are a legitimate business in your county, in your state. So if I were you just starting out and you want to register your business name, I would say go the DBA route. It's the cheapest way to get your foot in the door. And then if your business grows, you could always file for an LLC or a corporation. But if you're just starting out, be the sole proprietor and file for a DBA. It's that easy. Like I said, $25 to $35 if you do it yourself, $100 if you go the legal zoom route. There might be other sites I could do it for you, but I just went the legal zoom route. You do whatever you want to do. It's just filling out an application, and that's all it is. Really basic information. Anybody could do it. Now, in the follow-up video, I'll talk about an EIN, which is a tax ID number, and I'll also talk about how to get your reseller's permit or your wholesale license. It's kind of the same thing. So stay tuned for the follow-up videos. It's your boy, Big Brando. Yeah.